is welcome back in this video we are going to learn how to make button and image button in any android application so from this to some onward videos we will cover the ui components of android studio like text view button switches progress bars recycler views scroll view etc so stay tuned and watch the video till the end So guys there are different types of buttons in android studio so in this video we are going to cover two basic type of buttons one is simple button and another one is image button so in the first type of button you can display image along with text in the button so image can be displayed on the right side of the text or on the left side of the text bottom or top of the text whereas in image button you cannot display the text you only display an image in the image button so without wasting our time let's dive into the code so for this let's open the android studio so we will start by start a new android studio project so from the template we will select empty activity which will provide only single basic activity or screen and click next in the name we will write ui elements practice we are planning to practice ui elements in future and we will use the same project for that purpose so this is the package name and we are okay with the default location for saving this project and from the language we will select java and the minimum sdk is 4.4 kitkat now click the finish button so android studio will take some time to build the gradle and our project will be ready for development so let's wait a while So okay guys our project is ready now as we know that our project consists of only one screen or one activity so every activity consists of two files one is the business logic file and the other one is the layout file or design file where we design its ui like we draw some images some buttons some text view so that a user can interact with the activity so for this we have this main activity dot java file which is used to write the business logic for our activity and in the same way we have in the resources in the layout we have activity main dot xml so our screen will look like this so here we have on the right side of this editor we have three buttons design split and code so when we select this design button we can visually see our screen and android studio provides drag and drop feature for making the ui in an easy way there is old conventional way that is with the help of code so you have to remember the code for each element which is very difficult to remember it may create some errors so in the split mode we have both view code and visual side by side so let's come to the design mode so we will practice only button and image button in this screen so first of all we will select the text view and we will delete the text view now let's come to the code and you can see here the code of our text has gone android studio has automatically done this task for us in the same way select the design and select the buttons in the palette and from here simply select the button click and drag it on the screen on your desired location and drop it that's it it is a simple way to draw an image on the android studio now let's add some constraints constraints are just like a threads which are used to hold the buttons on the specified location on the screen so it is very easy to bind these buttons with the constraints for this select this circle 
click and drag it on the upper edge of the screen in the same way select the lawyer circle click drag on the bottom edge of the screen in the same way we can we will repeat this for left and right circles and left and right edge of the screen so now our button is on the center of the screen so now let's customize this button we will add image to this button for this we have an image i will provide the download link for this image you can get the download link from the description now copy this image in the android studio it is a general practice to place all images in drawable folder in the resources so from the resource directory in the drawable folder i will select the drawable and right click and from here select the paste option select the upper drawable and click ok so it will copy the image in this directory click ok boom our image is now added in our project isn't simple yes so now let's write some code so we want to display this image on the left side of the text of the button so for this click the code and you can see here our button code is automatically written and which we have done with the visual editor all has been written in the code with the help of android studio so from here click the enter select the android colon drawable left now the android studio is suggesting some options for us in the first option we can see a drawable play which is the name of our image so click double click to include it so now you can see a simple small image which has been added on this so one general practice is that when you want to add your image in the drawable folder you must write the name of your image in small case letter some people write it capital or start with the capital letter it will cause an issue so to avoid any inconvenience or issue you should write the name of the image file in small cases now come to the design mode and you can see here our image is included on the left side of the text of the button in the same way we can place the image on the right side of the button now let's come to the design mode here we go our image is on the right side of the text in the same way it can go on the top and the bottom as well now let's come to the second part of the video which is image button simply select this image button click drag it on the desired location of the screen and drop it so it is mandatory to have an image in the image button so we will select what we have included here and click ok so as you can see here our second button is on the screen so we are getting some errors constraints error so let's bind this image button to this button so in the same way i will okay guys so the constraints of both button has been added so now let's add some callbacks and notification methods to these buttons so that when a user press this button we will receive a callback or notification for this we have to go into the code so here we have two ways to add the callback to button or to bind some method to this button one is with the help of xml file so now let's write that is public white button pressed event so in the arguments we will write view and simple view so we are getting the error that this is not a declared class so for this we have to import the class of the view with the help of android right. 
dot view view call okay our error error has gone now let's come to the activity main xml file go into the code and in the button we will write android colon on click so it is suggesting as the events we just have declared so double click to include it control s to save this change so okay guys our event has been successfully added to the button so how we come to know when and when a user has pressed the button for this we will add logs to it if you want to know how to write the code and how to add the filter in the log cat you can see my previous video i will add the link of that video in the description for this let me quickly write the log tags and and log stuff Here I will write the long dot i so we are okay with this image. So now let's launch my device. So now let's build and compile this application into my device. Simply select the device and click run application button. So Android Studio will take some time to build and install this application into my phone. Let's wait a while. So okay guys we can see the screen we just have designed now let's launch the log cat from here we are receiving a lot of logs now let's So I will write the name of the log UI elements practice in the package name I will write the package name I just have copied in the log tag I will write UI elements practice log and click OK. So now let's launch the application. So now let's press the button. Boom! As you can see here, I am receiving the events button is pressed by the user. In the same way, I will again press this button. And I am receiving the callbacks or notification. So now let's come to the second way of adding this events to our button. For this let's come to the activity xml code and from here delete this on click event we just have described and we can delete this callback as well. So first of all we will have to access the button in the logic file we can access this button with the help of this id. So every UI element button image button has a unique ID. So we can access this button with the help of this ID. Let's do it. For this in the onCreate method we will write button
Captain is equal to but right find view by id so we will write r dot id dot button so our id now the button has been accessed now let's add the on click event to this button dot set on click listener and in this we will write new view on click listener so double click to add in it so it has included some code in it so this is the callback which will be called when we press the events so now let's add again the log in it and in the log tag So now let's build again this project. So okay guys, now let's again click this button and from the log cat let's delete all previous logs and now click again this button so as you can see here we have received our new log button is being pressed with on click listener so whenever i click the button i am receiving this call back in this method so guys hope you have enjoyed the video this is enough for this session see you in next video if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments and please like share our video and subscribe to our channel.